What is going on everyone, Spry Brown? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I have a, re a review of the Scuf Vantage controller for PS4 and PC, maybe. Now, before we get into anything else, this is not a low-end controller, or at least medium-end. This is $200 for the controller. I'm not entirely sure if you can get it for any cheaper. Mine was $200 GameStop. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, going on to the buttons, first off. Obviously, the four paddles right there. These are extremely convenient, by the way. Cable retention thing, which I freaking love. I wish all controllers had these right there. Keep the cable in and keeps the little... With the cable. And it keeps the little, uh... Little thingy right there. I don't know what that's actually called. The charging tip, maybe. Keep that from snapping off inside, which I've actually had controllers do, and I've thrown three controllers away because it's done that to me. Um... The main gimmick, I think, with this controller is uh, these little sax buttons right here. Which, I mean, they are helpful sometimes, but they pop off extremely easily. Um, and you can, also bump them extremely easily. you can also bump them extremely easily, which I've found out three or four times. Uh, scuff sticks, of course, on a scuff controller. On the scuff controller, they're not exactly standard sticks. Uh, you can, I believe... Uh, get OEM sticks, which are basically just normal PS4 thumbsticks for uh, the impact, and I believe on the 4 PS Pro is just uh, scuff. I'm, 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 mm. I've had this for almost six months. I'm still a little bit mixed on how I feel about the thumbsticks. I'm used to before I had the scuff sticks. I used Control Freaks almost exclusively. If you guys remember my uh, videos before. Black Ops 4 came out, then they are all shot using control freaks. Anything past probably mid-November 2018 was shot with these. <clears throat> and you can uh, jam control freaks onto these little onto the little thumbsticks, but I wouldn't recommend it. It damages this thumbstick, and it doesn't allow you the full range of motion. Like it blocks it right there. Uh, also, this. Freaking hate this thing. If you're not careful and you like press your finger on it, like just even like that, it mutes your mic, which is the most annoying thing ever. It's one of the things I don't like about this controller. And yeah. and also, if you're using Face ID to unlock your PS4, I know that's not what actually it's called. It, if you're using your camera, if you're using, uh, did this? What is it stuck on? If you use your PS camera to unlock your PS4, first log into it. I don't know if you can actually use this light to, uh, you know, log in. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't. I haven't even logged in with the uh, PS camera in like a year. <laughs> um, going on to the modifications you can do with this uh, faceplate. The two little. You can. I don't know if you can see them right around there. Yeah, you can see them. A little div right there, right there, and I think you're actually supposed to pull it from here too, on like right in front of the bumpers. Pull off like that. Faceplate pops off. The faceplate you can actually get several. Like I think they have a blue, a Black Ops Four, a Galaxy, a Blackout, a blue, a white, and something else. I think, and obviously silver. I was, I've, I've been planning for like six months to get the black one. I haven't. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, these things are friction rings. They serve from your joystick hitting that, and possibly wearing down the plastic in between the rubber and the controller bit part. I don't know what it's actually called. Just snap them in like that, and you're good to go. Moving on to the controller modification. You can't take out these, which I mean, I can understand why. That would that would be very difficult doing that. You can take out the joysticks. I normally run shorter on the left side and taller on the right side. At least not at, at least since I've been using control freaks. Uh, tall. I hate the domed. I wish we could have concave tall scuff sticks. Actually, I think they sell those. Never mind. I might I might have to pick some of those up. Uh, vibration packs. Are mine actually over here somewhere? Oh, they're on my desk over there. Okay. Or my table, which I'm not going to get up and get them. They, they, all they really do is just add weight right here and use vibration, which I never use vibration in any video game I play. Um, 
what else is there? Oh, the D-pad. You can take this off. I don't, I'm, I don't even think I have the original. Do I have the original? Uh, let's see if it's in my case. With my... Oh, that's what I want. Uh, hey, it's right here. This is the alternate uh, D-pad you can get. It's the uh, disc and... Oh, Jesus. Let's not make a mess. Also, if I sound quiet or tired, it's because it's, it's 12 in the morning, so, yeah. I don't understand why anyone would ever use something like this. It is the worst D-pad in gaming ever. It is basically the epitome of, like, if there was an E.T. Extraterrestrial, if you guys know about that game, if there's that of thumbsticks, this is it. And I know not all people will, will agree with me, it is my personal preference, I can't stand that thing. Uh, triggers. These come off, and uh, here's one of the trigger extenders. They go on just like so. Like, so. Oh, oh, that's L2. It was R2. There it is. Take this little edge right here, put it onto that. If I can get it. God dang it. There we go. Don't like that. I've actually used this multiple. I actually just used to exclusively run this because if you have that in the combination with the trigger stop, new resistance plus that equals really good trigger finger. Even for me, and I don't have a good trigger finger. Um, what else is there about the controller? I think that is about it. Oh, also, if you drop this, uh, if you have one of the like pre twenty nineteen. Uh, advantages if you be careful if you drop it because inside here it could break your sound could get all muffled and low and your mic could be uh, perma mute yeah. so if that happens I don't know what to tell you might you might just have to go out and buy a new one where I put that trick there it is I think that is about it with this controller as far as the uh, grips I don't know if you can get any new grips you can take these off Oh, also the layout, if you guys haven't already noticed, it's the layout of an Xbox controller, and oh my god, I love it. It's so nice. I, if you, for those of you who didn't know, I, I grew up playing uh, the uh, OG Xbox and the Xbox 360. I actually had uh, an Xbox before I even had the PlayStation, so yeah. Story on my origins in gaming, probably around beginning of July, by the way. Let's see if I can get this on. There we go. Everything was square. Yep. Uh, so I believe that's about it. So uh, if you have watched it this far, guys, please subscribe. I've gotten I've gotten over 500 views in the past month, which is completely new for this channel. So please, guys, subscribe. I, I don't like begging for subscriptions, but since I'm getting this amount of views, please subscribe, like, comment. And uh, I don't know when I'll be streaming next. Uh, probably sometime after the 15th of this month. Uh, and as for the next, you know, like, video for the PS4, uh, just, it's coming soon. Just uh, just expect it to be coming soon. I don't know what's going to be on, but just expect it soon. But uh hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Firebrand out.